So you want to upgrade your doll's house and make beautiful stonework on the outside of the exterior that looks something like this or this for a beautiful cottage feel, then you've come to the right video. First and foremost, grab yourself an egg box. Any colour is fine, it really doesn't matter. The first thing we're going to do is create some swatches and I'll show you how and what kind of bricks you can get. So rip up a few pieces and maybe create some brick style shapes. Uh, you can also create cracked wall effects with this. Um, irregular stone walls is also cool. You could do anything you really want with this. And these are a few examples here. I decided to go for a cottage style stone. So quite rough, irregular stone, but in a brick format. So that's what the effect I will be showing you. So the next thing you need to do is just rip up that egg box. You're aiming to get thin strips um, appropriate to the size of your doll's house and then you will just rip them up either with your hands or with scissors. I like to do both so I get a variety of different uh, textures so I get some smooth bricks and some more rough bricks. If you're trying to replicate the style I did, I also made sure I had different thicknesses, more square pieces, more oblong pieces, just so I had more variety when jigsawing them all together. So the next step was to just lay them out how I would like them, and the next stage was just to glue everything down. I just used a normal PVA glue for this, just made sure to really saturate them, also pressed it down with my fingers a little bit to make sure they were really stuck onto the plastic that I was working on and just did it in a irregular format until eventually it starts looking quite realistic and cool. I also like to replicate features such as the around the windows and uh, corner pieces so the bigger corner pieces on the sides of the house to give a more realistic look. I think I used roughly two egg boxes to complete this small house so you may need a lot more depending on the size of yours but once it's looking somewhat like this then you can move on to the stage of painting which has so many options and varieties it's really up to you I decided to go for a limestone natural sandy coloured stone but you could do brick red you could do grey and make it like an Irish cottage uh, anything really, but I just started to prime. You can use any paint. I just used regular household uh, or masonry paint even you could use. Just something to to get to soak up, to soak up that uh, texture a little bit before you go in with your actual colours. You could also just leave it white if you want. I mean, that's pretty nice too. Um, I decided to then go in with my acrylic paints. You can use wash, uh, really water them down as well to create more wash style effect. Um, and just went in with a light yellow. Then I also went in with different tones of browns, different tones of uh, light reds and greys, just to add pops of definition amongst the bricks and also went in with highlights of white on top. I like to darken around the cracks and where there would normally be shadows and general texture on the stones. So whatever reference stone you're working from, pick the dominant colour and then pick shades and hues lighter and darker from that and just work into the stones cracks with washes. You can also uh, go really watery into the cracks and pat away just to make the insides where the grout would be darker um, and just keep on going until you get the desired effect that you want. You can also try dry brushing technique which adds a lovely texture to the stones. Uh, this could work really well on grey stones and you can also try pigments. I also used uh, eyeshadow for this as a quick hack which can create a dusty, dirty, worn in look, which can be really useful if you want that style. So this is how my house turned out and I really love the effect and I hope that 
you found this video useful and if you use the techniques let me know how it goes down in the comments i would really love to know if you're interested in how my doll's house is coming along i'm doing a full series on this from start to finish and you can check that playlist out now i'll pop it at the top of the screen so thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was useful to you, please give it a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. So thank you so much for watching, bye!